So LeBron James, Wade, and Bosch, we all know that they've been on the same team together since 2010 when LeBron made his decision to sign with the Miami Heat and not go back with the Cavaliers or any other team that he wanted to sign with. Now they're talking about bringing in Carmelo Anthony, who has the option to opt in or opt out of a contract with the New York Knicks. He has to make that decision this month on the 23rd. He has to tell the Knicks if he wants to stay or if he wants to leave and test free agency. But if the Miami Heat pulled this off, you know, with the Miami Heat already pulling off the signing of LeBron James, you know, that was already amazing. They got them two championships with that guy on the roster. If they pull off getting mellow in this offseason, like, are you fucking kidding me? This team will be unstoppable. Yes, you have to think about who else will be on that roster. Who will be the fifth guy on this starting five? Who will be coming off of the bench? Who will be the role players? You have to think about shit like that. The money situation, they all will have to take pay cuts in order for this to happen. That would be Bosch, Wade, LeBron, and Melo. They all will have to take less money just to play together. I don't understand why this league is coming to this. You know, we already had LeBron James, Wade, and Bosch. We already dealing with this shit. They've been in the fucking finals for four straight years, and they're playing game four tomorrow night against the San Antonio Spurs back in Miami after getting torched by the Spurs by 19 last night in Miami. But anyways, what the fuck, man? The competitiveness already was going down in this fucking league. You really want people to stop watching this fucking game? Like, seriously, people have, people have been fans of this game for a very long time, for decades. And to have this shit happen would be fucking crazy. It would be unbelievable. People will stop watching this shit. Fans will be dropping, you know, viewers will be dropping. It's just going to be a fucking crazy situation. That's why I am so excited for this offseason because you don't know what's going to happen. Kevin Love, he doesn't know what he wants to do. A decision has to be made on him. This Melo situation, the LeBron situation, we don't even know if he's going to come back to Miami, but I'm pretty sure he is going to come back to Miami. He did win two straight championships with those motherfuckers, so we'll have to see, man. But this shit is crazy. LeBron, James, Wade, Bosch, and Melo potentially being teammates? Wow. That will be some shit, man. They will really be tearing some shit up in the Eastern Conference. An Eastern Conference that's trying to improve and get better, still weaker than the West. But come on, man. Like, you gotta be freaking kidding me. If this shit happens, good for you, Miami Heat, but motherfuckers gonna stop watching this shit. I'm gonna be one of those guys. I'll still let my Boston Celtics to the day that I die, but I don't know if I could be a fan of this game if this shit actually happens. I just don't know, man. But t let me, um,. Go, man. I want to see what you guys think. Leave your comments in the comment box below. Let me know what you guys think about this situation. Do you guys think Melo will leave the New York Knicks and test free agency to sign with the Miami Heat for less money? And they all take pay cuts. Do you guys think he will stay with the Knicks? What do you guys think will happen? Like this video, share it on your Facebook and Twitter. Also, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel on YouTube. And, you know... Share this video, put it out there to your friend, family and your friends and let them see what they think about it. Peace.